Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here. This is going to be week five of our UBL matches, and we are here up against Hera Horde and his SL Bane Fika. I watched his videos just to make sure that I pronounced that right. But he has a super scary team. He's been doing pretty well. We won our last two against the last two remaining undefeated teams. I'm super excited about this week. You can see the team right here. And immediately I'm pretty excited not to see stuff like the Gigalith, the Electros, and uh, the Haxorus. But the team in front of me is not going to be the easiest to deal with. With that, let's just go into the battle. Um, I don't honestly remember what each of us led with. So let me see. Okay, I lead with the Tauros. Yeah, I tried. I just tried to get some damage off of the Tauros. It, I am remembering now. And he ends up leading off with Heracross. Now, I make a super risky play turn one. I stay in expecting him to... Because look, I have the super obvious switch in with my Latios. I expected him to to know that and not to just close combat turn one directly into this thing so i just go for the body slam expect him to like knock off or something or pin missile or, or whatever the case may be but he just stays in hits exactly what's in front of him and i got baited i 100 percent thought that i could get the finest of um momentum going on if i just called the pin missile expecting my latios to come in and he stays in goes for the play in front of him and i'm immediately on the back foot i am concerned at this point but i end up going into my venus arm as he goes into the brave area here and again i can't overstate just how much uh this means turn one i really did expect him to make a play with his Mega Heracross turn one. And he just didn't. I had a super obvious um, switch in with Eladios. And here I and here I just uh, try to set up for some reason on a Braviary. I'm not quite sure what that was about. But um, I clearly thought I could take that better. And I'm not going to be able to take another one. But I do just get a Power Whip off. I thought this would do more. But it's clearly a fairly defensive... Um, Braviary with the leftovers. So, this was never a good idea. Not entirely sure why I did it. I 100% should have uh, doubled or something, but that's the point where I go out into my Latios. I know I can take a hit, and I can hit it in return. Again, this is a choice Latios, so it's a choice Scarf Latios, so I know I'm going to outspeed this thing 100% of the time. But at the same time, it's super limited my options. I make a super obvious play, and he brings in the super obvious switch in. I could have gone for a Shadow Ball, but either way, you, you guys are going to see just how defensive this darn Excadrill is. It is, it, I believe he told me that it was max special defense, but even then, it is a resisted hit, but even then, it's still uh, naturally bulky, and it's going to be really tough to break through in general. In any case, I just go into my Ferrothorn here, expecting, I, I kind of expected a cell hunt, but in either way, it was going to be able to sponge a hit in the situation. It's all I really needed. And I don't know if I was going to get a chance to set up my own rocks, but I didn't think he can touch me at this point, and I don't think it ever does. I end up, yeah, I, yeah, so I do make a play, I expected the switch out, I go for a Thunder Wave into the extra drill, and I catch the Braviary, so, uh, I don't remember how much that helped or not, but, it's, I'm feeling like we got a little bit of momentum happening, we made a play, I'm feeling good right now, and I just give him the free roost. And, um, I believe I just get rocks up, maybe? Yeah, okay, I did just get rocks up, but... This is not the best matchup for me because now my gyro balls are not going to be doing as much. And I'm just kind of stuck in here. He can't really do a whole lot to me, but I can't do a lot to him either. But he's going to win this 1v1, clearly. Um, I, do, I must switch out, right? <laughs> Please tell me to switch out. Unless I just give this thing up. I honestly don't remember. Um, okay, okay. I knock it off. I knock it off. That's, that's a solid middle ground. He could have switched out. Um... Not wanting to take all the iron bar, possibly leech seed, all that kind of stuff. So that was a thing that I did. But I do finally switch out. Okay, okay, neat. What do I go out into? <laughs> I got into the free marina. Uh, this is a pretty darn defensive free marina, but and he goes for the superpower, which uh, I kind of accidentally just called. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I was just a god and called that. I don't know. 
Again, super, super long ago there. Not super long ago, but it was a while ago. And I just Moonblast into this thing. And okay, yeah, it just goes down. It just goes down. It was Thunder Wave, so we outsped it. We're in solid positioning here. He brings this thing out. And I don't remember if I sped crept it. I don't think I did. Yeah, no, cle clearly did not. As he just goes for the Bullet Seed. I might have just been giving this thing up. I don't quite remember, but um... Either way, this thing goes down. It's not the biggest deal in the world, especially when he has such an obvious Excadrill switch in from here on out, so... I end up taking that opportunity to go into my Latios, and I believe I called this and go for a Shadow Ball, if I remember correctly, and remember we are Choice Scarfed, so I do have to call this for turn one correctly. And... Now we're in a situation where this Latios isn't going to be doing much for me in the future, and this Exegrill is going to be super hard to break through, so I believe I end up just giving up my Latios just for the darn damage. I do. Um, I believe he takes a turn to Rapid Spin here, so I'm able to rack up a little bit of damage onto this Exegrill, which is going to be super necessary for the late game, in my mind, right? Whereas this Latios is not going to be in a position to sweep anymore so I can give that up. I do have to put myself in a position where I wear down this Excadrill as much as possible for the late game or else I'm never going to break through it. He Earthquakes it with Wall Breaker, goes right through the Levitate, takes me out, it's fine. In my mind, that much damage onto the Excadrill was still worth it at this point. Um, and again, the Latios wasn't going to do much. In, in, after the match, he did tell me, Harrod did tell me, that he overprepared for the Latios, and his whole team was so very specially defensive. Um, he, he, he named three mons that he built to be, like, super specially defensive. Didn't even go for um, this kind of uh, Sand Rush nonsense, or Sand Force. One of the two. Now, here is another huge sequence in the match. So, I get a free synthesis up. Um, on this switch, and I expect to be put a curse here, but I 100% underestimated how just how strong Mega Heracroft is. That's completely on me. I 100% underestimated this thing, and it completely bit me. I did not think it would do that much, but now I'm in a position where uh, I'm not really able to do anything here. But like I said, if I had any idea that it would be doing just that much damage, I would not have stayed in there. Heracross just hits like a truck, and even with a neutral pin missile, it just does so much damage. Uh, I end up going into this thing, as he goes for the bulk up, so that puts him at plus one. And just even more dangerous now. Even more dangerous now. But, uh, Ferrothorn's in here somehow, I think. I just wanted to lower defenses maybe, I don't know. But, we never actually, uh, or, or we haven't up to this point gotten a chance to take this thing out. We're just trying to play around it at this point, and and, and he's defending it really well. I think he he knew from the beginning that uh, it could tear through my team if I let it. And at this point, I'm just trying to play around it as best I can. As yeah, you see, he he just switches out again because he knows how valuable it, it is in this matchup. As I go for a dark pulse here, I expected that Vaporeon switch in. Uh, I knew it was coming. Now, I just, uh, end up dark, impulse, dark pulsing over and over again. You know, kind of going for a flinch, but more so just going for damage. I, I, I could have walled this thing, tried to set up with the Venusaur, which I think I actually do at one point. But, uh, yeah, no, here I try to take the opportunity to just go for a little bit of a setup as he... Goes for the Toxic, yeah, so I called that. I didn't call that. I just knew he was going to wish and try to uh, get his health back up, which he does. And he withdraws, and I believe on the Curse. And again, you're going to see, at plus one, it just does... Oh no, I sent this as first. Yeah, yeah, I was at half at that point. But my thinking here is, now I'm in a position where I can Curse up. He's and then eat a second Pin Missile, and then synthesis up, and then we'll be fine. But Pin Missile just does so much damage. It does so well over half. And more importantly, 
It does well over two thirds, which means I'm not gonna be able to take another one with a pin missile after getting the plus one. And of course, with a five hit situation, there's a chance to crit at any point. There's a chance uh, of, of, of high roll. So the rules are pretty volatile at this point. But at this point, I realize that I've done made a mistake. If I just attack this hair across in front of me, I could have at least uh, done something. He would have been forced to go into something that maybe I would have been able to handle, but either way, it was never the right decision to try to curse up in that situation, just because this thing hit so, so hard. But I just go into my Greninja here. Again, the switch in was pretty obvious. I'm scarfed. I'm going to scarf myself in a Dark Pulse once again, and this thing's back at full after that wish. I'm just hoping that I can break this thing. Um... Again, in my head at this point in the battle, I'm thinking that uh, I did all this work to kind of wear down his team. The Heracross is super low. That's going to go down to anything. The Exeter, I gave up my Latios for that damage on that. Blacephalon, I'm Scarfed. Dark Pulse, Okos. And uh, the problem is going to be the Slurpuff, funnily enough. I'm not going to be able to break through the Slurpuff because I'm choiced into Dark Pulse, but I do end up getting the flinch. I take down the, the Vaporeon, which is huge in my mind. I, I'm i loving that. The fact that T'Challa can come through once again, but in comes this thing and I just do no damage right there. I'm going to have to get about five flinches. We do actually take this flare off, which is neat, but uh, we were talking about it after the match. We, we were kind of saying that if I had been able to somehow take this thing out, or this thing had been taken out earlier in the match, I think I would have been able to win. And, actually, he didn't have any Scarfers on his team, so if I had just, like, not been Scarfed, and had Gunk Shot or something, had, had like, a Life Orb weird Gunk Shot situation, to be able to take this thing out, like, I don't know, get a crit or something, I might have been actually able to win this, because uh, the Braviary, yeah, oh yeah, the, the last one was the Braviary, that was still in the back, and I was uh, pretty heavily hurt and thunder waved, so we would have been playing some pair of flinch games there, but I was in a pretty good position to win, if it wasn't for that dang Slurpuff, it just kind of walled my Greninja, which really did stink, but unfortunately, we had to take that loss. I 100% chalk it up to underestimating Heracross and just how dang hard it hit me. And that turn one cannot really be overstated. That turn one was huge. I really did want to make a prediction, make a play there, but he just attacked what was in front of him. I 100% should have gone into Latios, scared it out, but that's just how it goes. And he gave me the close combat. He gave me the minus defenses. So that 100% would have scared him out, would have allowed me to go for a Shadow Ball on the, Escudero, on the, on the incoming Escudero. Oh well. He, he, he did tell me after the match that he does not like to predict turn one. Apparently I did, and I uh, definitely got burned for that. That was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again with more UBL and PJ Home matches next week. But we are still in a pretty solid position to make a run, but we just have to go ahead and make that dang run. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out.